What are toxic chemicals and how are they regulated? Well, to start with, a toxic chemical is by its nature a chemical that has some level of adverse effect on health when, it is, when you are exposed to it or it's otherwise ingested. Okay, now the primary method of regulating toxic chemicals in the United States is pursuant to the Toxic Substance and Control Act of 1976. And this act is primarily a um, method of regulating the process by which toxic chemicals are produced, transported, brought into the country, uh, introduced into commerce, and then how its use is recorded and documented. Okay, now there are provisions of this that are broad. Other acts, such as the Pollution Prevention Act, have added to this group of statutes. And generally, all of the rules and regulations that go along with it are administered by the Office of Pollution Prevention and Toxics. Okay, and this is a subset of the Environmental Protection Agency. Now, what is regulated with regard to toxic chemicals? Number one, production. That is, the process of actually producing the chemicals, importation, bringing it into the United States, use, that is the actual application of it, but more importantly, the process of uh, combining elements to make it, bottling it, selling it, all of these things, and then the disposal of those chemicals. What happens to those chemicals if they're not used entirely up for their intended purpose or there is some remainder or residual chemical left over after it has served its intended purpose. Think of motor oil, for example. It's used for its purpose to lubricate engines, but afterwards there's some residual substance that remains afterwards. It doesn't evaporate. It isn't burn up into the atmosphere. It doesn't change forms. It still exists, just in a different state. Now, the regulations concerning toxic chemicals generally requires some level of notification of manufacture. There has to be documentation in terms of where it was created, the process under which it was created, and how. Now, testing. Once this product is created, before it can be introduced into the market, it must go through a series of substantial testing to make certain not only what is the chemical makeup, but what are the effects of this chemical makeup, how it can be used, and what are the uh, repercussions if it is ingested by humans in a certain way. Anything from touching the skin to inhaled to getting in the eyes and things like that. So all of this testing has to be done to make certain you understand the extent to which these chemicals are toxic and the effect. Significant new use. In some situations, you have chemicals that already exist, that are already registered, that are already imported into the United States, but they are used for a distinct purpose. In that scenario, once again, you have to register with the agency. You have to go through the testing to make certain you understand the extent to which it is going to be used and the effects of that use if it comes into contact with human beings in some way, shape, or form. Next, reporting and record keeping. All of the recorded uses associated with a toxic chemical must be documented and must be kept for posterity for disclosure purposes in the event that there is some form of repercussion, some, um, some negative health uh, aspect that's being caused, whether it's damage to a human being or whether it's an impact on the, on the natural environment. And then registration. Once again, before one of these products can be introduced to the public, it must be registered with the administrative agency. There must be a uh, permit or certificate of approval for commercial sale. Now, once this process is done, once it's taken place, uh, there are ongoing requirements for continued testing, particularly for new uses or commonly understood uses in the public of the good, to make certain that nothing, again, arises that could cause a, an adverse impact to human beings or the environment. This is the primary regulatory regime for toxic chemicals in the U.S. system.